Hey, I'm the finance guy. Today we're going to be talking about some of the dividend kings. Give me a like if you like unicorns. Subscribe and hit the bell. I make videos like this all the time. So let's talk about Coca-Cola. They've got 56 years of dividend payments. Pretty impressive. With a PE ratio of 21.63, it's overvalued in my opinion. With a PB ratio of 8.31, also overvalued. With revenue seeming on the decline, this stock is not a buy, it's a wait for the drop. Let's look at another company. Johnson & Johnson. With 46 years of dividend payments, this company's been around for a while. The PE ratio of 16.65, this company is somewhat okay valued. The PB ratio of 5.32, somewhat also okay. With revenue seemingly running sideways, this company to me is a wait for the drop again. Let's look at another company, Procter & Gamble. This company also has 46 years of dividend payments, as far as I could find anyways. With a PE ratio of 17.71, this company is what I think slightly overvalued. With a PB ratio of 3.35, it's actually pretty good. With revenue somewhat running sideways, this company is also a wait for the drop. Let's look for another company, 3M. This company has over 29 years of dividend payments uh, with a PE ratio of 21.56. I think it's overvalued. Let's look at the price to book ratio. Also, 11.03. Something I can to consider, I think it's overvalued as well. Revenue, I think it's going up and it's being consistent. So that's something I really like about the company is it shows future growth. But I think it's a wait for the drop scenario as well. Let's look at Colgate Palomalu. 29 years of dividend payments with a PE ratio of 21.25 is still overvalued. Let's look at the price to book ratio. I actually had a hard time trying to figure out what the PB ratio was for this stock because it seems to be all over the place. Let's look at another one. It's revenue stream. Currently, it seems to be running quite sideways, something I really don't like about the company. It means it's kind of hit its growth potential for now. I think it's a wait for the drop scenario as well. Let's look at Lowe's. Over 41 years of dividend payments, something I really like. With a P ratio of 19.39, it's still overvalued. So let's look at the price to book ratio. It's also 12.02, .02, also overvalued. Let's look at the revenue. Currently, the revenue is up, which is kind of good. It shows that it's got a little bit of growth potential, but I still think this is a wait for the drop scenario because you can get this company at a better valuation, I think, in the future. Let's look at Dover Corp. Over 28 years of dividend payments with a PE ratio of 17.08, I think that this company is okay valued. With a PB ratio of 2.67, this is actually quite good. The revenue is run a little bit sideways, slightly up for the company, but um, I think that they are just a little bit behind the curve right now. I think it's also a wait for the drop to drop and pick up more shares. Let's look at Emerson. 29 years of dividend payments. With a PE ratio of 25.25, it's a little bit down in my opinion. I wouldn't buy it because I think it's too overvalued. The PE ratio of 5.32, it's okay, but it could be better. Let's look at the revenue. The revenue is actually on a slight decline and somewhat sideways, something that I really don't like. I think it's also a wait for the drop. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below. I'd really love to hear back from you. What's your favorite Dividend King? Also, before I go, I also wanted to tell you guys that some of these companies have been paying dividends for even longer than the periods listed. Also, do your own research when it comes to investing. As a side note, I also wanted to tackle one additional thing. I think the market is very highly overvalued at this point, so investing into some of these companies will probably net a loss. I don't know how long it'll be until these companies start to come down to a fair valuation. It could take a year, it could take two years, it could take many, many years. But currently, I think that they're overvalued and I don't think it's a good time to buy. I want you guys to be aware of that when it comes to doing your own kind of investing. Thank you so much for watching my channel, guys. I hope to see you again soon.